All right, in today's workflow workaround, we're gonna take a look at how to break apart your HubSpot database or a group of your contacts into two or more randomized groups. Um, and typically, you know, this would be done, you'd kind of export and import using Excel, but we found a kind of a cool trick to do this right within your HubSpot portal. We're gonna use one custom property that is a HubSpot user type. We're gonna use one workflow, and then we're gonna use a series of lists. And the end result, as you can see here, is gonna be like a group A and a group B that completely splits apart your HubSpot database. And we're actually gonna build this in a way that makes sure, you know, going forward, anytime a new contact is added, we're separating it out to these lists. This makes it really easy to A-B test things like automated emails. Um, there's also a whole bunch of other use cases for why you'd wanna um, you know, randomize your database in the first place. So jumping over to our custom properties, um, the first thing we're gonna do is create a new property. Just gonna put it in the contact info for now. And we're gonna call this random owner assignment. Next here. And just make sure again that this is a HubSpot user as your property type. All right, great, that's been created. So now we're gonna go and create a workflow. And we are going to trigger it based off of an email being known. Because again, we want this to work going forward. We don't just wanna randomize the contacts that we have today. We wanna make sure that these uh, random groups are useful going forward. So if email is known as our trigger, and then we're simply gonna use HubSpot's handy contact owner assignment here to rotate our contacts using that new property, our random owner assignment here, to two or more different contacts. So I'm just gonna use myself here, use my email, I'm gonna add Megan. So Megan and I will be the two that we're rotating between and hit save. And then I'm just gonna enroll everybody. And again, this is gonna run, so new contacts keep getting added. And now if I pop back over to my HubSpot lists, I'm simply gonna create new lists that have either myself or you know, any other contact owners that I selected as the owners. And then I can use those lists going forward. So you know, I'm gonna create a list here. I'm gonna give it a name of owner A. I'm gonna say that that means that our new property, random owner assignment, has to be me. Apply, and there we go. And so as you can tell, yeah, these lists are pretty useful. Um, again, you can do this with just two groups, three, four, really no limit. Um, and you can do it with the entire database. You can also just do it with subsets. So please enjoy, let us know your feedback, thanks.